if I'm ex asked to expand x minus 2, y to the fourth, I recognize that n is 4. So if I add 1 to this, I know I'm looking at 5 terms. The coefficients of those 5 terms will be 4c0, 4c1, 4c2, 4c3, and 4c4. Now, I'll take my first term and I'll go in descending order. x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x to the first, x to the zero. Now will come the tricky part where I have to do my second term, including its sign, negative 2y to the zero, negative 2y to the one, negative 2y squared, negative 2y to the third power, and negative 2y to the fourth power. Now, what do I do with each of these? I'm going to add my terms. So, I do know some things. I know that 4 to the 0 is 1, and 4 to the 4 is, 4c4 four four is 1. 4c1 four is 4. 4c3 is also 4. 4c2, four well, we did that in our last problem. 4c2 will be 2 times 1 over 4 times 3. Cancel, cancel, 2 will give us 6. So I first find my binomial coefficients. My x, well, it's pretty simple. It's x to the fourth x to the third, x squared, x to the first, x to the zero, which I'm not going to write. Now comes time for my second term. Negative 2y to the zero is 1. Do I really need to write that? Probably not. Negative 2y to the 1 is negative 2y. Negative 2y squared is going to be 4y squared. That's negative 2y times negative 2y. Here, negative 2y cubed is negative 8y cubed. And lastly, I have negative 2y to the fourth, which is 16y to the fourth. So I do expect you to know some basic algebra. And finally, my expansion will give me x to the fourth minus 8x cubed y plus 24x squared y squared minus 32xy cubed plus 16y to the fourth. If you're asked to expand x squared plus y to the third power, note n is three. So if I add one to that, I know I'm gonna have four terms. And the, co the binomial coefficients will be 3c0, 3c1, 3c2, 3c3. Those are my four coefficients. And my first term, which will go in descending order of exponents, will be x squared to the third, x squared to the second, x squared to the first, and x squared to the zero. My second term here will be 4 to the 0, 4 to the 1, 4 to the 2, and 4 to the 3. And don't forget, we're going to add them. So I'll be adding each of these four terms. I do know something about 3C0. Anything with a 0, 3C0 or whatever it is, is going to be 1. Same thing with 3C3. If I have 3C1, I know that's going to be 3, and 3C2 is also going to be 3. You could check those out by doing it the long way or expanding it out. Uh, sorry, by, or taking the shortcut. Now, x squared to the third, I have to know a to the m to the n power is a to the m n. Guys, I'm multiplying these exponents. So this is x to the sixth, x to the fourth, x squared, and this will be x to the 0, which I won't write. And now 4 to the 0 is 1, which I won't write. And I have times 4 to the 1, 
4 squared is 16, plus uh, 4 times 4 times 4 will give us 64. So my final answer here is x to the 6 plus 12x to the 4th plus, this is plus 48x squared plus 64, and there's no variable there.